My name is Bobby Smith. I'm a general surgeon. I practice in Pampa, Texas. I grew up in a small town in Central Texas, did my surgical residency in Detroit, and I've practiced all of my career since I finished residency in smaller communities. In fact, a fair portion has been spent here in Pampa. It is all about clarity for our work. We have to see what we're doing. So, I mean, the reality is technology has improved over the last 20 years drastically from when I started using this kind of stuff. Um, quality of insufflation is important, but also the ability of the smoke evacuator to work well. But if we can't see what we're doing, we can't do laparoscopic surgery. And definitely it's all about the focus, if you will, as well as something of a depth adjustment because the techs have to move it in and out some. So I would say it's completely important, but the reality is sometimes you have to make do with what you have, although it, it's meritorious to stop a case if you can't see what you're doing. We obviously have to see what we're doing, so image quality, I say, is probably foremost of importance with laparoscopic equipment. So when I turned to practice at PRMC in 2016, they were already using the Richard Wolf products, and since that time, they've upgraded more than once that I'm aware of. And I believe we've been using the Endo Camera Logic since that time. My overall impression is favorable. I mean, the reality is it's the instrumentation of choice at our facility for doing laparoscopic surgery, which is not limited to lap gallbladders or lap apis. We also do some lap colon resections as well as some laparoscopic hiatal hernia repair, excuse me, repairs. Another advanced laparoscopy, if we didn't have adequate visualization, in fact, excellent visualization would be a challenge to do those kind of procedures. It's all about the clarity of the image. I mean, obviously we have to have adequate insufflation to see what we're doing, but without image clarity, there's really no way to do what we do. I believe probably the ergonomics of use, which makes it easier for the camera operator, but also the way the camera works and the focus works. They have the ability to get it kind of preset and limit the amount of motion required. There is some challenge for the camera operators when we use an angled lens, but it seems to be a pretty short learning curve for them to overcome that. Utilization by our assistant staff is probably the biggest challenge and they seem to be pretty responsive to it. I think the camera head is extremely ergonomic as far as ease of use goes. Since I don't really have to use it that often, I can't say as much. That would be more something our techs utilize. But in a smaller rural facility or a smaller community where we don't have all trained staff, sometimes we're having to use some unlucky scrub tech to provide the service. And even one who has minimal experience is able to operate it and utilize it. And I believe they're able to position themselves comfortably so that it doesn't put them in an unfavorable position for personal injury. The reality is it has to be user friendly for the poor soul who's running the camera, but you've also able to see what you're doing. So this provides both opportunities for us. Like it's ease of use for the assistance as well as the clarity of imagery for the operator is what's important. To this point, it's been excellent. We've been able to get uh, good quality products. The reality is there's always some wear and tear and sometimes damage occurs by utilization and they're very responsive to appropriate repairs and upgrades as needed. I mean, wouldn't it be ideal if they could take the system and put it side by side with the one they have now, but the reality is most of the time it's gonna be an upgrade from anything they're using. I think it'd be worthwhile for them to try and see it in use somewhere before they convert to it, but I believe they'd be very happy with the image quality and the ease of utilization by the staff. Richard Wolf, Spirit of Excellence.